Quantum computing is no longer just a lab experiment. Over the past two years, it's started to look more like a real industry in the making. And with major breakthroughs and billions in fresh capital flowing in, 2025 has set the stage for what could be a defining year in 2026. Investors have taken notice. A handful of pure play quantum stocks have exploded, some jumping hundreds or even thousands of percent between 2023 and 2025. Boston Consulting Group estimates quantum computing could unlock as much as $850 billion in economic value by 2040. That's the kind of projection that fuels speculation and opportunity. First up is Ion Q out of Maryland is one of the clearest pure bets on quantum computing. Their technology uses trapped ion qubits, meaning they don't need extreme cooling systems like other platforms. They've been aggressive on growth, not just building their own hardware, but buying up strategic capabilities. Between 2024 and 2025, Ion Q acquired Oxford Ionics for chip tech and Vector Atomic for quantum sensing, bringing quantum clocks and navigation systems into their portfolio, which opens the door to defense in aerospace contracts. They also took stakes in multiple multiple quantum networking and encryption firms, aiming to build a full-stack quantum ecosystem. With over $1.6 billion in cash and a $2 billion premium investment from major financial institutions in mid-2025, Wall Street clearly sees IonQ as a front-runner. The stock has surged over 700% in just a year, pushing its market cap to around $20 to $22 billion. Revenue is still small, around $85 million, but analysts project 87% revenue growth in 2026. Simply put, IonQ has momentum, money, and attention. It's it's high risk but sits at the center of the quantum hype cycle. Rigetti is the story of a comeback. After going public via SPAC and facing a brutal sell-off, the company staged one of the most dramatic rebounds in the quantum sector. Their 2025 run has been extraordinary. At one point, the stock was up nearly 6,000% year over year. Rigetti builds superconducting quantum chips using a modular, chiplet approach, basically stitching multiple small processors into a larger system. In 2025, they hit a key milestone with new hardware, reaching 99.5% two-qubit gate fidelity, which is a big deal for reducing errors. More importantly, they finally secured their first commercial hardware orders. Two Novera systems scheduled for delivery in 2026, worth about $5.7 million. It's small money, but it signaled real product market traction. They also locked in a $135 million strategic partnership with Quantum Computer in Taiwan, giving them a manufacturing pathway. Way. With over $500 million in cash, Rigetti is funded for the next few years. Like IonQ, revenues are tiny, but analysts expect triple-digit growth in 2026. It's still speculative, but now there's a roadmap, not just research. Honeywell might not sound like a quantum stock at first, but it quietly owns 54% of Quantinuum, which is considered one of the most advanced quantum companies in the world. Quantinuum uses trapped ion tech similar to IonQ, but has been far more focused on error correction and enterprise software, especially for chemistry, encryption, and defense applications. In 2025, Quantinium broke records with a massive quantum volume of 8 million plus, a benchmark that measures overall computing capability. They also demonstrated one of the first working logical qubits, which is the foundation for fault-tolerant quantum computing. Honeywell is planning a corporate breakup by 2026, and many investors expect Quantinium to get spun off or listed publicly. If that happens, it could unlock a huge amount of hidden value. Honeywell isn't a high-volatility quantum trade. It's more of a long-term sleeper exposure to a premium quantum asset. IBM has been in quantum longer than anyone. They run IBM Quantum Cloud and have a full-stack ecosystem from chips to developer tools. Their hardware roadmap includes superconducting chips scaling past 1,000 qubits with the Condor system already prototyped. They've also put quantum systems directly into institutions like the Cleveland Clinic for Medical Research, one of the first real-world deployments outside tech labs. IBM isn't a speculative quantum name. It's a stable tech dividend stock with quantum as a long-term upside option. In 2026, all eyes are on whether IBM reaches its 1,000 qubit bench Mark and expands its enterprise quantum network footprint. Google pushed the field forward in 2019 with its quantum supremacy announcement. Since then, its quantum AI division has focused heavily on error correction. In 2023, they debuted a 105 qubit chip and showed exponential error suppression using logical qubits, one of the most important proof points toward usable quantum machines. Google doesn't sell quantum systems commercially yet, they're still in research mode, but access through Google Cloud for research partners is ramping up. With a $3 trillion market cap, quantum is a rounding error on Alphabet's financials, but strategically it's a key piece of their AI and cloud future. The goal? Reach practical quantum advantage on real-world tasks sometime before 2030. Microsoft is taking the most ambitious and risky approach with its pursuit of topological qubits. These qubits are theoretically more stable but extremely difficult to build. Microsoft claims it has produced early evidence of topological qubit behavior and continues to develop Majorana-based devices. While that hardware matures, Microsoft plays another angle, Azure Quantum. This platform already integrates hardware from IonQ, 
Quantinuum, Regetti, and others, positioning Microsoft as the operating system layer of the quantum future. Even if topological qubits take years, Azure Quantum is already onboarding developers and enterprises into the ecosystem. It's a long-term position backed by Azure's cloud dominance. Amazon's strategy mirrors its cloud playbook, be the platform that everyone builds on. Their AWS Bracket service already hosts quantum processors from multiple companies, including Ion, Q, and Regetti, plus Amazon's own quantum simulators. In 2025, Amazon revealed that it had developed an internal hardware prototype called Ocelot, focused on error correction research. They haven't commercialized hardware yet, but this confirms Amazon isn't just a middleman, they're building too. Quantum isn't moving Amazon's earnings anytime soon, but AWS is positioning itself as the default cloud environment for quantum developers. For investors, it's indirect exposure built into a high-performing cloud business. Whether you're chasing high upside plays, one thing is clear, quantum stocks move on events. How to spot quantum trading opportunities fast. Quantum names don't wait for earnings season. They spike on breakthrough announcements, government contracts, partnerships, funding rounds and research milestones, and those moves happen fast. That's where Levelfield's AI comes in. It scans for 27 plus high impact events across the quantum sector. Things like contract approvals, technology breakthroughs and leadership changes, and shows historical win rates and average returns based on how similar events move stocks in the past. In a sector driven by catalysts, not balance sheets, having real-time event detection isn't just helpful, it's your edge. In quantum investing, the biggest moves don't wait for earnings, they follow events. Staying ahead of those catalysts is what separates reactive traders from informed ones. Tracking events in real time isn't just helpful, it's how you keep up in this sector. Follow and subscribe for more. Level Fields Elite Investing. Effortless AI.